everybody. My name is John Gerber. I am your student nurse. Uh, teach you about a healthy diet. Now, all you 10-year-olds, well, that's my main area, but I mean, this also applies to 9-year-olds, 11-year-olds, kind of in the region. It's important for you to get some healthy food in you because that helps you grow, get stronger, and get better. Now, the two main areas that I want to talk about today, of course, is my plate and, of course, portions and calories. Now, first of all, we have my plate. My plate was created by the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture. They're the ones that's in, uh, important in your food. Now, if we look at this plate, we got four different sections. We got your fruits, your vegetables, your grains, and your proteins. Your fruits, of course, are your apples, your bananas, your kiwis, and everything real sweet. Then we got your vegetables. I know a lot of people don't like vegetables, but they are incredibly important. Because these two on this side should be at least half your meal with every meal you eat because they contain things like vitamin C that helps with your immune system. Uh, they also have a good amount of fiber and other great nutrients to help your insides go all the right way and helps get everything distributed real evenly. Uh, on the other side, we of course have your grains, which of course is all your breads. Um, and those are great. They have uh, nutrients such as more fiber, uh, vitamin B, I do believe, and great things like that. And then finally, we got protein. Protein's where you have all your meats. That's your chicken, your steaks, and your fish. Now, the proteins, we gotta keep that in just a little corner right there. That should be a portion of your meal, but not too much. Uh, it can contains uh, nutrients such as iron uh, and protein, which makes your body stronger and great. The iron by itself, that provides the oxygen that carries in the red blood cells around your body. So it keeps you breathing and feeling good. But the big problem with prote protein sometimes though, is all the other things in there, like cholesterol and fats. Now those things, you need just a little itty bitty bit about. But if you get too much, that gets unhealthy and that just is not good. That's what leads to like heart attacks and stuff like that. So we don't want too much of the proteins. And then up here on the corner, they got your drinks. That of course is your dairy. Well, they say dairy here. Uh, milk is amazing. That's great for you, but we can talk about other things too. The most important, all around water, H2O. That's what keeps everything uh, going through your body. If you run out of water, you get dehydrated and your body kind of gets tougher. It's not good. Now, that's what your plate should look like. Now, when making a plate, you don't just heap it all on and make this huge pile of all these things because too much just won't get processed because everything is turned into calories. Now you might be asking, what is a calorie? A calorie is the food that is broken down throughout your body and then it's turned into energy. Energy is a calorie. Now you're thinking, how many calories should I have in a day? Now, in a day, you should have approximately around 2,000 calories going through your body at a time. Now, you can go a little bit lower. I know the, for your age group, it's right around 1,600 to about 2,000. Now, if you go too high, that's a little bit too much, and then you just have all this energy going around. What happens to that energy? Well, I got a little example here. Let's pretend your body is a calculator. This calculator right here runs on batteries. Each battery 
can basically be a calorie. Now, if you don't have enough calories, the calculator will not turn on. But, if you put the battery in, the calculator will turn on. And it can start doing all your math and all that great stuff. Now you might be thinking, I want my calculator run faster. What should I do? Let's add more calories, more batteries. Well, this calculator runs on AAA. So I got some more AAAs. I'm gonna stick those on. Yeah. Now I think it can do it faster. That's good, but I want it even faster. More batteries. So let's get these double A's. They're bigger, they got more power. I'm gonna stick them on to the back here. So now we got four extra batteries. I don't think it's working fast enough. Why is it not working fast enough? It needs more calories. So, ooh, I got this big Duracell battery. Let's stick it on here. Now this calculator is getting real heavy now with all these extra batteries. And honestly, it's not working any faster. Maybe I need to just attach a cord. Stick it on right there. And plug it in. Hmm. Not any faster. The biggest reason for this is that these extra calories are not being used. And so now it just becomes extra weight. So when you eat extra calories, your body has no place for that extra energy. And so it is then turned into fat and then it just sticks on your body to be used at a later time. And that, of course, is why it's important to exercise. Because that then takes that fat and breaks it down and turns it into calories once again. Now, the best way for you to kind of maintain that amount of calories in your body to keep up your energy is portions. Portions, portions, portions. I should say right around the best portion size per meal is right around somewhere between 500 and 750 calories throughout the day. And the best thing to do if you want to eat a lot and fill up your tummy, that's again where you have the fruits and the veggies because those right there keep a minimal amount of calories in them and they will fill you up real good and give you lots of nutrients. The proteins, however, that has a lot of calories in it. And that really builds things up in your body. And now you're wondering like, oh, what about snacks? What if I'm just like a little bit hungry at that time? Well, I know it's really addicting, but candy bars, they fill you up, and they have a, but they have a lot of calories and a lot of sugar. That stocks up on your body. That's where you need just like little snacks. One of my favorite snacks is sweet peas. Another thing, smoothies. And I can show you a little bit about my favorite smoothies in a bit. All right, now here we are. We're gonna be making a little bit of a smoothie. These smoothies are my favorite. They're healthy, they're nutritious, and they're delicious. You'll like them too. Now some things you'll need is like an apple. This is the one we're gonna do. We're gonna do an apple with some spinach, some milk, and a little bit of peanut butter. Now, if you're ever gonna do an apple with this, uh, you might wanna cut it up. Now, I know if you've never cut before, make sure to do this with your parents and well supervised, because these knives are sharp and they can cut you. You'll want to divide up the apple, into little bits and use as much as the apple except for the core. You don't want to eat the seeds. Ew.
Now, I got a little blender thing, so I'm going to fill up the bottom of this with these apples. Gonna have a pinch of a good handful of spinach. Got some wonderful peanut butter here. I'm gonna use a table or a teaspoon of it because you don't want too much peanut butter. Put that in. I'm going to put in a half a cup of milk. I'm going to put in that spinach. And then tighten it up. Now I got this over here and I got it right by the blender. Put it on the blender. Yep, sounds, seems just about done. Open it up and take a drink. Mm. Delicious and healthy. And now I would like to talk about uh, the calories in that uh, milkshake that I just made. That milkshake in itself probably had only about 200 calories in it. Now, how will I figure out how many calories is in it? Well, the best example, if you ever buy anything, most of the time, they have the nutrition facts right on the back. See, this milk right here, uh, for one cup of milk, is about 130 calories. We only used a half a cup, so that would only be about 65 calories. Uh, otherwise, the apple, the apples by themselves is like a whole different thing. If you ever don't know and you got a specific item like an egg or an apple or a celery stick, you can always Google. Just type in calories banana and right there. You add those numbers up, you keep it at a good level, and that will make a healthy you. I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a really good day. Thanks.